Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alana. If you're not new here, welcome back. And thank you for returning. I almost said a different thing. I don't know what I've said, but um. So in today's video, it is gonna be the process to DIY my bath seat because it is getting to the point where lifting me on the bathtub is getting too hard. Anyway, so we, we have to DIY. We're, we're trying different things to to adapt this my messy so and I'm going to take you guys along for the journey so I'm gonna quickly catch you up on some things beforehand so the best seat that I'm currently trying to adjust is geared towards elderly people. Not special needs. Okay, and, and special needs bathtub bathies are expensive. So we are adapting it. So in this chair the things that don't like why this chair doesn't work for me is there is um no laterals which are the things on the side and also there's really no head guides because I'm too small so the sides don't really work for me. Those sides are supposed to be my laterals. I mean my my hip guides but because I'm a smaller bit more more petite size um it doesn't work for me. For me, the seat actually needs to tilt back more. And we can't put it, put something far enough underneath the seat, which is where, because it needs to be like a, like a bigger angle for me to work. So this, this attempt actually did work for me as far as, I got to be more submerged in the water, but as far as that, that's the only like good thing this attempt did. Now, we tried to use a little kid's Adirondack chair for little kids, and I will put a picture. I will have many put a picture of it so that you guys can see it. However, that did not do the job that we wanted it to. We want me to be kind of more deeply in the water than I currently am with the chair. So my mom, it's more like a, okay. It's more like a taking a, a sponge bath than uh, taking a bath. As you see in this clip, I was not fully submerged in the in the water. It was more like ankle height. With that being said, that is all I have for now, and I will see you in my next update. So. My mom has another idea about how to adapt it, but I don't, we're not, we are, um, we're going to try that one next. I'm back, you guys! So, well, I wanted to make a quick, um, entry to say what has been what we figured out well what oh my god what our second attempt to adapting it 
and I, I know I sound weird and I'm trying to get used to being on camera. So hang in there with me guys. I am not quite myself yet, but I'm getting there. So what we tried so far is um the children's like foam pad things and because the situation is it has to be the seat has to be tilted back um and we cannot get it as far back as we need to that's one of the situations also like I said in the previous clip it is geared towards elderly com or the elderly so there's not and obviously I'm special oh my god I can't see them. I have special needs not so we have very different my my core is not as developed as a normal person's um would be oh the market for special needs is very non-existent because or pretty much non-existent because we have every everybody's situation is different and it's a case by case scenarios there's really no market for us to like oh this is a it's not a one one size fits all situation also we are going to be um drawing the tilting so um so that you guys can see it it's actually one of good your guys' recommendations, so thank you very much. We're going to be looking into that and getting that. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this journey. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.